hi everyone welcome back so i just did an unboxing on these sugar milko products um if you have not seen that video i have it linked below so you can check it out but anyways as you can tell by the title of this video i am unboxing my very first Hermes purchase and i'm so excited so if you guys want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. All right, guys. So I've been holding on to this item for months. This is a, this was a birthday present. So if you didn't see my um, colorful Gucci sandals video, I will have that link down below so you can check that out too. That is what my husband gave me money for to purchase for my birthday. I really wanted them. You know, I have been wanting the chunky platform sandal for a long time, but obviously it didn't work out. And so I decided these were on my radar for a while. So I decided to take that back and purchase these instead. So by these, obviously that means a pair of sandals. So, um, this was my very first purchase so my birthday is actually january 31st and i purchased these march 7th it is now august and i have not pulled these out since that very first day that i purchased them which is ridiculous let me not hold you i know you guys are just here for the unboxing so this was wrapped up really really cutely with the bow and everything with the ribbon and I will insert a picture of how the box was packed up. But this is the orange box. Um, I'm really hoping I love these so that I can purchase more because they do come out with like limited edition colors and they go so fast. So, yeah. So one thing that I do not like is that they don't come with tissue paper and I know it's probably weird like why do you need tissue paper but all of my luxury designer shoes come with tissue paper so they do not. So this is how they came. This is my receipt uh, for when I purchased them and at the time they were six hundred and thirty dollars they are now up to 660 if i'm not mistaken but there's that this is how they come they come in little dust bags so can you guys guess which color i got of course i had to start off with one of the you know neutral colors one of their you know classic colors are you guys ready okay Ta da these are the oran sandals and oh, so beautiful i got the color gold I, I don't know why they call it gold but this is the color um this is the shoe very beautiful very classic i have been wanting these for a long time but people say you know a lot of mix it's a lot of mixed reviews on these especially on the sizing um so yeah but this is what they look like and this is the bottom so i haven't actually wore them it did get a little scuff um when i tried them on on my floor honestly i've been holding these because i really wanted to purchase a new bag this summer obviously not near miss but um, I wanted to purchase the uh, Celine, I don't know what it's called, but I'll pop it up. The Celine bag, and I still have yet to purchase this freaking bag. I went in the store and looked at it, and I was like, oh, it's beautiful, but I still have not pulled the trick on it. But anyway, this again is the shoe. So... Um, I am normally a true women six and majority of my luxury shoes I am a 36 if they're European sizes majority of the time that is what I wear um, but the sizing are in these run a little bit small they're a little weird so I actually got a 36 and a half and I think they fit perfectly for my liking um, a lot of people say go up a full size. I would not. I would say if you are a true size and something, just go up a half a size and you should be good. So, um, 
I will insert a clip of me having them on my feet so you guys can see how they look and everything. Um, now, I have not worn these outside or for long periods of time or anything like that. Just a little bit of my house, a little carpet, a little floor. So I cannot tell you about how they wear. But with me wearing them, I wore them in the store for about five to ten minutes, walking around in them. Area of which I was in, they had a carpet, carpeted floor. So I guess you won't scuff up the shoes. Um, and they felt perfect. They felt great. So I definitely would say, as far as I'm concerned, as of right now, these were a really really good buy I've been wanting them for a while and honestly I am debating about picking up another pair you know I really want a pair of white sandals and a good pair of black sandals um, I don't have any of those in my like luxury designer collection I do have other types of sandals but neither one of those colors so we shall see but I just love these so much and I'm so glad to be starting my little small Hermes journey um, I know a lot of people buy a lot of the twillies and things like that perfumes and makeup but all I'm really interested in is shoes I may go back eventually and you know look at twillies or anything if I decide to go back um, I do kind of really want a click clack bracelet um, those are super super cute but the price of a click clack bracelet is the price of their shoes and i'm kind of like i don't know if it was like 400 possibly but i don't know y'all but i do really want one of those um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys were felt my excitement i am really really excited i love designer and luxury things now i do not get a lot like most you know i'm not a luxury channel but i do like to toss in a little bit of luxury here and there because i love it so if you guys like these type of videos i do have other luxury designer sandals that i would love to review for you guys and also um i could do like the best luxury designer sandals to have for summer because i do I have sold a few of my luxury sandals that just were not comfortable. I still have one or two that are not like the most comfortable, but majority of my shoes are very, very comfortable. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.